This apartment just sold. It's at the top floor of a old building called the Manor Building in Potts Point. It's 296 square meters. It went to market with a $10 million guide and it just sold for 13 point seven million now it's a three bed three bath property double lock up garage which is the main street in pods point where all the cafe shops and everything is it's sold at a uh, square meter rate of just under forty seven thousand a square meter for the 296 square meters now for a lot of people they go 13.7 million bucks for an unrenovated virtually unhabitable apartment but it's off of 46,000 a square meter. It's got DA approved plans through one of the most renowned architects in the Eastern suburbs. And literally 300 meters away, there's a penthouse that just sold in a brand new development there, which was 400 square meters and it sold for $75,000 per square meter. They're both full floor apartments. Billy Ave apartment is obviously a brand new building. This apartment is an older style building, but it will be fully renovated internally. But the disparity in those two price points being 75,000 a square meter and say 47-ish thousand dollars per square meter is pretty significant. We're talking a 60, 70% difference in price. You can probably renovate this apartment depending on your style, your taste, what finishes you put in it, but you could do a really high quality renovation with the best finishes for probably eight to $10,000 a square meter. So let's say you renovated this apartment for the top end of that, $10,000 a square meter, 300 square meters, that's another $3 million on top of the 13.7 that you paid. So you're all in for just under 17 million bucks, excluding stamp duty, because you gotta pay stamp duty or whatever you buy, obviously. So for $17 million, you've now got a fully renovated 300 square meter apartment in the exact same position with very, very similar views, full floor. You've bought it for nearly half the price of a comparable apartment just down the road. And that's where we see so much value. People will go in and they'll buy the brand new product. They like the renders. They can look and feel and smell and it's beautiful. But not a lot of people will walk through an unrenovated, dilapidated, unlivable property, which literally has the same criteria. The difference is it hasn't had the paint and the beautiful finishes put in it. And you can buy it for that much disparity in price point. Now, even the sub penthouse in this Billiard Ave block, which is just down the road, sold for 21 million, which was in the 300 square meters of internal floor space, which again is a 60 odd thousand dollar per square meter rate. If you look at it in comparison, you've just bought a penthouse for 13.7, you've fully renovated it, you've spent another three or four million dollars on the renovation, and you're still in cheaper than what a sub penthouse sold for just down the road. And that is the power in seeing opportunity that other people don't see opportunity in. Buy a really good quality asset in a good quality location that has really strong comparable sales around it for a finished product. Do the work yourself and then add the value and reap the rewards.